after a swim, even if you don't do anything crazy, you just go out for a little while, swim parallel to the shore. It's an amazing workout. So what's interesting about water? There's a so-called aquatic origin theory. Aquatic origin theory speculates that human beings turn out to be physiologically built the way we are because there was a long period of time while we lived in an environment where we had to spend a significant amount of time in water. That is why our skin is so smooth. That is why human beings can jump into water without any kind of major splashing. Human beings have a capability in a very smooth way entering the water. So they also believe that the reason our hands are like this because, um, because it's very easy to push the water with. Now, I'm not telling you that I'm sold on this idea, but there's no question about it. Human beings can swim, we can swim well. There was actually an individual who swam across the entire Atlantic Ocean. So we can swim. It doesn't matter how much you practice as a lion, you're never going to swim across the ocean, nor a chimpanzee. So there's something to us physiologically that connects with water. Now, let's not even talk about that 75% of our body is water. So when you're in water, in a weird way, your skin separates this outer water environment from your inner water environment. That's kind of exciting. When people care about water because they have a connection to water, it allows us to to maybe care about our oceans, our rivers, our lakes a little bit more. Indeed, we do not want to have this kind of dry environment. I live in California, so if you are near around the United States, you understand what that meant during the past several years. So more, you're connected to water and the understanding what water is for you as a human being, the higher the chance that you will make different choices. And I'm swimming here in a geothermal water pool, middle of Iceland, snow, mountains surrounding me, alone, my feet and me. In my experience, once people get into swimming, they start to care about the environment of water, oceans, lakes, rivers. So there are many different kind of foot techniques you can use to push yourself this way. So I'm gonna show the freestyle foot drill. When you really push it hard, it's actually a quite difficult exercise. Hanging on to the edge of the pool and then paddling with your feet, it's very challenging for your system. So. This makes you hop and puff in no time. You do a few sets of these and you're gonna be like, holy moly.